Okay, good morning, everyone. Yes, as Trader Gals pointed out. Holy, lots of high rated ones today. Yes, and some I didn't even rate, you know. Uh, some of these other ones that I didn't even rate are going to work. Uh, so here's the plan of action. Let me just look at the margin here. This market's going to make a new high. This is, this is just uh, the fact that I can see this every day and we're gapping down and doing really things. And I didn't even really see how we traded yesterday into the afternoon, even though we did end up uh, gapping down this morning. The market is so, so, so strong. It's just it's ridiculousness. All right. So today... I think this is going to be tough. Okay, I put this in the run, the TXN. I'm not going to watch this first. I do believe this works. I think it's going to be tough. Tough, 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 tough. Uh, QCOM as well is a short. Unless it reverse swooshes. That could happen with this. I think it works as a short, but it's going to be tough. So the best one for us to do today is LVS or GM. And let me just check something here. I think I'm going to watch both, actually. That's the plan of action. Today, today is going to be, you, you have to pay attention today. I mean, you should pay attention every day, but uh, you really have to pay attention today because I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know if I'm doing GM. I don't know if I'm doing LVS. Uh, I don't think I'm doing TXN, and I don't think I'm doing QCon. And you could even watch AA, although that wasn't really a top one. That's going to work, too. There's, there's going to be a lot of things that work today. And the market's strong, so it's earning season. And we're finally going to have good stuff to do every day. Discipline Dude says, wake up, people. <laughs> if you're not awake before you get into the live room with me, you definitely are awake by the time you exit the live room with me. <laughs> That's for sure. All right, let's look at today's affirmation. Today there is no need for me to struggle. Oh, thank you. Because I felt a little bit of a struggle because there were so many things to look at. Cancel. I trust the universe to take care of me. And the market. So today's affirmation. Today there is no need for me to struggle. I trust the universe to take care of me. We're going to let the market give it to us. If it gives it to us, we're going to hit it today. Gave it to us yesterday, and I didn't even have the expectation because that gap in Cree then wasn't exactly what I was anticipating, although it's set up like an angel. So let's just see. <laughs> Disciplines, dude's laughing. I want to. I don't think there's any reason to do any continuations today at all. I didn't even see where Cree closed. I don't even want to take the time to look at that now. I don't want to get off track here. I had some questions in the room. I'll go back and answer them later. Um, market's, market's long. I don't know if it is right out of the gate. Gosh, I wonder if I should watch three things. This is like so... out of time. All right, I'm going to watch GM first, but I also have LVS up here. Everything has a, well, these aren't big spreads. There's going to be some, this, tell, put the stop where I tell you. iPhone is on its last leg of existence. It's ridiculous. I have an iPhone 3, and I don't even think it's charging now. Like, I had it charged for like 20 minutes, and it had it's like red. Okay. 
Okay, let GM open with the volume. I mean, it has volume already, but let it open. Oh, yes, very thin. LVS, you can do 65 by 90. 65 by 90 LVS. GM, 20 by 35. 20 by 35. 20 by 35. There, there, take it. LVS. I mean, GM. GM, GM, GM. I didn't get filled. I didn't get filled. I didn't get filled it. What the heck? I didn't get it. I'm not in it. I, did anyone just get filled? I, there, I just got filled. All right, I just got filled more than I wanted. Crap, hold on. That was really weird. They're all going. I hope you paid attention. All right, I'm just staying with it now. I, got, I, I have like double the position size I want. I hope oh, this is not what I wanted here. I... Didn't that fill me right? I have my hand on the button to take out of half of this soon here. I have double what I wanted of this because I just had too many orders sitting shirts try to fill me and it did fill me. That was that didn't make any sense to me. I'm in GM. Stops 35. You could have done the other one. In fact, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the stop for the position that I have. Over 26. Just I'll stay with it. I just got filled double my size. This is insanity. I had five orders set, and thank God it's time I canceled some of them. I just put a stop at 26 for half because I have double what I wanted. I, I, this is weird. Anyways, I'm going to try to stay with the whole thing, though. <sighs> I'll just make more money today. All right, GM, 3550, 36. This, this is working. This is working. You could be on everything. But I really got just, I, I was very out of focus here for a second, though, because I, I saw I wasn't getting in it. <sighs> I'm in it now. I'm in it now with double the size. Here, it's going. Here we go. You could be in this one, too. All right, I'm glad I didn't take any out. Here we go. 36, though. Wow, this is going to. You could have done them both. What on earth? Okay, here we go. I'm going to have to get out of half of this, though, soon because of what I have, just to book something here if it breaks 30. Six. Thirty-five seventy-five is realistic for this today. All right, stay with it. My hand is in the button now. I can't look at anything. I had five orders sitting. I got filled way too much. That was really odd. Okay, let me just push this over here. All right, let me relax a minute. That was a little stressful, but I'm up a lot. All right, here we go. Oh, six.
Time of the day is 35. Okay, my hand is really here in the button to get out of half of the sun. This is a little wily in here. No, I didn't yet. Same. Wow, look at this. Okay, so I didn't do anything with this. I'm in the GM. This this you could have done. It had a big, big move in here. I mean, this really had a big move in here. I don't even know what anybody did with this. Um, I, I, was, I was doing the GM. I was doing the GM, and I had trouble getting filled, and I think that was really strange. I pressed every button I had, and I had a million orders sitting out there. Now this didn't break 36 and is bouncing. This is going to give another entry if you didn't get it. <sighs> Trader gal got it but got a bad fill. The, the, the call is already underway but you could still do this here. If you could still take this right here and put the stop at 35. You could take this right here. My my price is 20, but it filled me like in this thing when it was moving up. And that was a little crazy, actually. But I got filled. I was concerned I wasn't going to get filled. I did get filled. now, And I actually should have probably gotten out of something here because I got filled more than what I wanted. But I actually do really think this is working. And so I, I actually could have a massive day here just by default. <laughs> but... I mean, you know, so I'm, I'm with this. You can take it right here. Put the stop at 35. This is still a good entry. Let's just, just be realistic with targets here. I mean, this is a good anyways, no matter what. And you could have gotten out of some in here because it didn't break 36, but I didn't. Let's just try to be realistic of what this stock can do on the day. You could take this right here with a stop at 35. It's valid. It's setting up again. In fact, you could do 12 by 25. Seventy-five, seventy-five, eighty, eighty-five, eighty, seventy-five. Those are the targets for this here today. And I can't really look at anything else right now because I have to manage my position here. But I have a feeling a lot of stuff ended up working. And I was going to do two things, but then I was contending with this. I think it's very weird, but a lot of you actually had weird stops too. Uh, 35, Christine. I mean, I wasn't the only one then having trouble getting filled. That was really weird. That, that, that was... Like the weirdest thing that's ever happened. Here, GM, GM, and I'm still in it. I'm still in it. I'm still in it. You could take it again right in here. You really should have to stop at 35, though. It's going to set up again here in the two minute. Here, this is it. This is it. And we're getting out of this once it breaks the low because I'm just seeing the market. I'm just seeing the market. I'm seeing the market now. I'm seeing the market now, and it's like, wow. Okay, this didn't set up. 
This didn't set up. This didn't set up. This didn't set up. This didn't set up. <gasps> We're in the best thing. And I was thinking I was missing something. Woo! Give myself a round of applause. This is it. I hope you got it. And you can still do this here with a stop at 35. And really put it at 35. I'm not taking any more here because of the fact that I have more than enough, but you could. <laughs> It'd bring your price down now. My price is exactly at 20. That was really strange. I had so many orders out there that almost was, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yep, here we go, we break the low. We gotta break home through 36 though to get this going. Oh, this is a nice trade for me here. Like sweated a bullet for a second though. Oh, you stinker. Why doesn't this just break 36? It's like, really? Time of the day is 941. And the market is going insane. First target, I just want to see it get through 36. If it if we can, we have some real potential for momentum. 35.80, 35.75. Anything through 36, though, any red, I'm just probably going to take half and let the rest ride just because of what happened to me. And if anything happened to anyone else like me, I would do that. Did anyone else get have a couple orders and they get filled like monster size in this? I almost thought something was wrong. I almost just was like ready to just call my broker. I just thought something was wrong <laughs> for a second there. But I didn't have, like, the orders were there. I was like, is the platform work not working? having trouble with 36 and it's having trouble with it <clears throat> but once we get through that we're gonna run and I don't see anything else to do and you could have done the LVS I'm not sure anything where that when ours or anything I can't I can't really focus on that right now you're gonna have to play that through on your own if you did it and you know what's a really unusual uh, here we go. Here we go. Let's pay attention. Let's pay attention here. Man, let's pay attention to everything. It's 943. The market's really rallying. I'm going to end up having a day here with something that is going to be a snail. Like, I don't think this drops $10 today now or wherever in some dream number without the market. It's not going to happen. So we're going to, we are going to get out of this. And you could even get out of this whole thing where I'm going to get out of it. Maybe I should get out of more than half. Just... Well, let's just see where it goes. Let's play it by ear. I might take the whole thing out through the low if it goes to some number that it's really good. Let's just see. It's going to break. Stay with the people. I hope everyone got it. You really had a lot of time to get it, even if you had trouble getting filled and if you let the order sit. We'll talk about this when we're done. 
that it filled you. I mean, that's what happened to me. That's actually what happened to me. I just was so, I just was, it just took so long to fill me. That was what was bothersome. And I had way too many orders sitting there, which I do that sometimes. But then I, I'm so quick on my feet, I quick cancel them. At one point, I didn't even know how many I had. I might have had seven. So I guess all's well that ends well, but this was a good entry here. Very nice. Let me just look at the market. I really wasn't expecting the market to do this so quickly, so fast today. 9.45. Here we go. GM. GM. Hold the conviction. Hold the conviction today, and this is the only thing that's working right, and it will break 36, 100% conviction. You're, it is taking its time, though, but that's where you're going to get paid. Try to stay with the trade. Here we go. Here we go. Not yet. Yeah, you have to stay with it. Yeah, I don't know why this is a problem. Um, I didn't. I got a great price, but I got filled up through it, which was like, because then I didn't have to stop in until it filled me. Here we go. Here we go. Under thirty six. Under thirty six. Yes. Oh, you. No. All right. I'm not going to talk about it. Let's just let it do it. I won't even say a word. No talking. If I don't talk, it'll drop off the planet. Man, this market's strong. And this market's so strong, I didn't anticipate this market to be so strong this morning. Immediately, that's that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the immediateness, the the quickness of the strength coming in here today. I didn't see it so fast, um, but that is definitely why some of these things are not going anywhere really this morning at all. And we really did the best thing. <laughs> we are the best thing to short. And Facebook was a nothing gap, and I will talk about that when we're done too. In fact, let me just write that down and remind myself. Time of the day is 9.48. Be quiet. Uh, Joan was in a 36.13, got out at 36.06. Platform is cumbersome to trade. Profit of 5,000 shares is 5.93. That's not half bad, Joan. You got a late entry though. It's really weird as it sounds like some of you got filled in the tail and I got filled when it went green in the tail and that's what made me go, ah. Here we go. This looks perfect though. This isn't doing anything wrong except for taking the rest of my life. But it looks really, really beautiful. It's really, really good. It's not doing anything wrong. Had a great entry. We were very exact. Everybody did get in. It's working. And the market may pull in around 10 o'clock because I really don't, I didn't expect this thing to go like this so quickly today. I mean, for real. But this stock is working today as a short. And we're in it. And this was really very hard. I'm a little surprised here how tough this was. 
I can't even call that right now. Can't even. We did the best thing again. We did the best thing again. So give yourself a round of applause because we're making money today and everything looks really crappy for the setups. Lots of gaps today. Lots of gaps today. Lots of things. But the market's really strong and every setup looks crap or things aren't, aren't working right. And we did the best thing. I just don't think this rally in the market continues here all morning. I just don't see that actually happening. The question is, is it going to continue until 11 o'clock or is it going to continue? Like, when are we going to have a, like a little bit of a pull in here now or later? <sighs> now would be better for me. Where did this go at one point? 02 was the last low. I mean, two pennies from 36. You think this thing was trying to break like through a piece of rock at that number. What is the dealio? Focus on the chart. Let's focus on the chart, on the chart, on the chart. Don't look at the money. Mar USC, I don't know what you're writing those watches in the room for. I didn't read any of those gaps, so I obviously didn't like them. So I'm not doing anything I didn't rate, and it's way too late here now. And if any of those things worked, it's too late to take them anyways. Nine bar stuck here. Yes, General Motors. What did you get in for? What do you mean, what did I get in for, June? I got in because it's, it's a short. What do you mean? I actually got the exact number I wanted to get, which was 20. I'm still in the trade with my entire size here now. Or position. Man, if I felt like being aggressive today, which I don't, I would just take more of this here. Here we go! Yes! It's going to break it! Stay with the trade! <sighs> Haven't, here, here we go. Here we go. It's going to do it. This is a nice call, people. I hope you stayed with it. I knew it would do it. Here it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes. And hand in the button. Let's get some red now. And look at the market. This is a great call once again. I hope you're in this. Let it go.
just, I'm just staying with it. I, I didn't get out of any. It's almost like the way this is trading. Now I'm seeing this now. Here it goes again. You, you, we, we were going to have to get out before actually we even see that it's backing up because I can see the way this is. This is really whippy. I haven't traded the stock in so long. I mean, I have, but it's been a long time since I've traded the stock. I almost forget how it acts. Just almost kind of forget here. But I'm remembering. And the conviction is helping. Time of the day is 10 o'clock. Hey, look, market. Oh, yeah. Market's going to make a new high today, it looks like. And I really just, I don't even know why I'm surprised anymore. I mean, I've been calling it, but <sighs> here we go. Now, let's just figure out our lives. Here we go. Let's you know we're getting paid now. Stay with it. This is what I wanted to see. Here we go. Yes. Yes. See if we can break ninety. There, I took it all out. I took it all out. I had to because of the market. It's almost 10 o'clock. If you want to stay with it, stay with it. Next target's 80. It did break 90, and I'm seeing what the market's doing, and I have too much, and this is just me. You can stay with it, though. It's not doing anything wrong. I got filled double the size, and the market's going to make a new high. So you could have taken it out with me, or you could just stay with it. <sighs> Where did I get filled? All right, I can live with that. <laughs> I can live with that for my day. All right. You can be in this still. Next target is 80 and then 75 and 70. I just took the whole thing because I got filled more than what I wanted. And I'm just seeing the market. I'm seeing the market. And I don't even know why I'm surprised. Here, here. Stay with it, though, if you can. Stay with it. Give it a normal size. Stay with it. It's going to try to break 90. I'm all out, though. I, I, I'm all out. This thing is a little whippy. I just didn't have the patience. Whew. Yeah, I took it all. I took it all because of the market. I'm seeing the market on my other screen. I just looked at it now. The market's going to make a new high today, which I did tell you, which I did say on Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday and a month ago and a week ago and a million years ago, and the market's going to do it today. Here, here, you're getting it down in the next number. 80, 80. I'm all out, but this is, here, that's 80 right there. If you're still in this, this is it. This is the trade. It's 10 o'clock, time of the day. Market making a new high. I'm already out of there, but take it. Take the trade out. This is it, people. Mm -mm, that, this is it. That's probably the low of the day. That was a great call. We got the move. I'm, the market will make a new high today. Don't take any chances. We did the only short that worked. The only short that worked. There was no other short that worked today. I mean, that is phenomenal. And I'm giving myself a round of applause for happening to pick the exact right thing today. You know we could be down today because nothing else worked. That was it. You should it should have been out. I told you. It got right to the target I told you. It got right to the target I told you and bounced. Be out. What time did I actually get out of that? I guess I could have waited one more millisecond. I mean, I, I'm not even going to complain. Let me see here. All right, I'm done for the day. And a good day it was. All right, we're on a roll, people. And today was not easy. I mean, it's like, for real? Seriously? Today was not even easy. And I got up thinking there's a million gaps, but... It wasn't, it wasn't easy today because nothing set up right. And I just happened to point us in the right direction for the right thing. <sighs> That's why you're here.
I wouldn't be in this anymore. If you are, you're like bar by bar in every penny and every second. The next number was only five pennies underneath it, so I don't think it's that big of a deal. Okay. Great call heading to work. Biker dude, biker dude, did you sign out yet? Or did you just say that and leave? Are you still here, biker dude? I can't even see. There's so many people today. No, you must have left. New Jersey trader got it down. Good. I raided the gap. Mar USC. I raided the gap. I raided the gap, and that's how I knew. And I narrowed it down to two things today of all the ones. And some I didn't even rate because I because I just we had so much to do. And I typically this that is the low of the day here, I think, on this people. All right, let's quickly go over the market, then we'll go over GM. The, the market's gonna make a new high. I'm, I'm giving myself a round of applause for the market call, too. The market's going to make a new high today. The market is going to make a new high. It's triggered on the daily chart. It could have went over the high of the prior bar yesterday from the other bar, but all the shorts are going to blow over 211 when that happens. It's not even the high that it's going to blow over, although we will. Uh, but not today, but 211. Over 211, the market is going to blow. This is an amazing call. Who would ever be short this market? Idiots. This market is higher. It's getting bought. I'm telling you that this area in the market is going to hold for the rest of the year. The rest of the year. The rest of the year, this area will hold in the market. It isn't going to touch anything through in here for the entire year of 2015 and maybe for the next, even past that. Okay? No one understands this but me. No one understands this but me. But why do you think I keep saying it? Gosh, I just feel so grateful and lucky that I have the brain I do. I'd be out of this, but if you're still in it, the next number is 75 and then 70. I didn't call the market long, but it is. All right, let's go over GM. I'm out of it. I think it was the right thing to do, whether you took it out with me or squeezed a little bit more in there. If you squeeze an extra five pennies or six pennies or seven pennies, fine. Whatever you did in here, this was a great trade. And here was the hard part, holding, 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 waiting for it to break. And you know what? We did it. We did it. We did it. And the market was rallying against us and power trending since the open. And I held through this trade. That is conviction, my friends. And it wasn't because nothing else was working, because it wasn't. It was because it was in the trade. And I actually had double size in it by mistake. And I held it anyways. That's conviction. It wasn't doing anything wrong. It was a great trade. And let's look at it. 20 by 35. And we could have even put it tighter. Trader Gal still has half. I think that's a mistake. Time of the day. Anyways, 20 by 35. And you know what? This, you just have to understand this thing in here, the way that this stock is. It's, it's not going to move $2. Like, this isn't going to move $2 on the day. Now, you, there was an ad in here. If I hadn't what I had what I had up here at a price of 20, I might have taken more in here. But then you really would have had to lower the stop. You really would have had to lower the stop. Uh, you would have had to put it at 25. Did anyone do this here, 12 by 25? It, it would have brought your price down. And that would have been fine if we had a massive target in play in this today, but I just didn't see it. And then I really didn't see it with the market against us. You're trailing over 90? All right. All right, then. It's going to try to break 80, though. Here, look. 75 is the next number. Wait, it didn't do it yet. Careful. Um, so this was this was an ad. And you really could have plopped it on and hog-wilded it. I, I was just happy that I situated myself here with what happened. Now, let's talk about that. So I'm very aggressive in the morning. I get filled like 99.9999999% of the time when I press the button the first try or the second try. I have several hockey set up with different ECNs. But for some reason today, which doesn't make any sense at all, 
uh, I did not get filled in this as soon as I pressed the button, which I quickly kept pressing it then with different ECNs and then even the same one, same full order position sizing of what I had sized it for. And then I don't even know how many entry, any jiggies I had up. And then I started canceling them because I realized I had too many up. And as I was canceling them, some of them filled. And then I got filled more than I wanted. And then I realized, relax, Melissa. And then I put the stop in and it started to go. So I stay with the train. But I was prepared to do damage control or take a double loss. I don't even think it shows you here the cancels. I don't, I don't know why that did that. That just didn't make any sense to me at all today. Hmm. So anyways, it was a good one. I rated the gap. That's how I knew to do it. That's how I do anything I do. I always rate the gap. And then I do the highest rated gap. So if you rate the gap, it has to rate over 20 points in order to, to do it. If it doesn't rate over 20 points, I'm not doing it at all. If I have more than one that rates over 20 points, I'll put them in order of the picks. And then it still has to set up on the live day. Now, I was in the back of my mind thinking I might do two things today. I originally had LVS and GM up. But then as it turns out, I didn't do two things. But you could have. Uh, let's look at the LVS. There's nothing wrong with this either, but it's not getting, it's, this is, here, here's a great example of something that's struggling as a result of the market. Now, this did hit in here, and you could have dropped it on down. It, it had a, almost a 50 cent move, but it didn't go anywhere crazy. Anyways, this is starting to work now, and this will work. This does have a decent target. 53 is a target for this. I like the target on LVS a lot today, more so than even GM, but I'll tell you that this really struggled in here this morning, and it was a result of the market. It's starting to break now. It's holding. The weakness is, is, is real in, in LVS. I liked the gap. I watched it. But you, if you didn't have the stop at the right place here, you probably got stopped out. Those of you that did it, where did you put it? I don't even, did I even call this? I don't even know if I even called, called it at all. I was like so in my head about the fills. Did, did, did anyone actually do this? And if you did it, where did you put the stop? Where did I call to put the stop? I don't even know. I actually think I did call it. I think I said 90. But I don't even remember calling the entry. I think I did give this a cushion. Does anyone remember anything that I did in this? <laughs> I think I said 90 now that I'm thinking of it, but I don't remember if I said the entry. I think I did say to put the stop at 90, which kept you in it, actually. <laughs> This is desperately trying to break again. It's just the time of the day here and everything in the market's doing. So I feel really good about the trade we did today in this. Not a million miles like Cree, but we take what we can get. And it really hasn't been, an, it wasn't an easy day. I'm a little surprised. I thought the day would be easier. I thought, I thought some of these things would just fall into our laps. It didn't happen that way. Now let's look at Cree. Cree never actually ended up breaking 32 in the day. We had a great exit on this. If you held down a little bit longer, you're fine. If you played in the 15 minute, you actually did make money, but it never really went full throttle to the bigger, bigger number. But this really isn't doing anything wrong here even today. I would not be short that though today against the market as a day trade. Okay. I think GM's done. I think you should be out of this. LVS is just starting to get underway. I did not call an exact entry in this here for the five minute, but if you want to do it, I'll tell you where to put the stop. you got to put it at 70. I think you need to put it at 70. There's a moving spread in this. So it would be 45 cents here. So that's not ideal. Uh, QCOM didn't act right. Didn't reverse swoosh. This is a watch for tomorrow. Facebook didn't do anything significant in the gap. Look at that. I was right in predicting the Facebook gap. What did I say? I said it's not going to do anything significant in the gap. Whether it gaps up or gaps down, I don't think it's going to have anything significant in the gap. That is exactly what happened in this. I don't even know how I'm seeing these things, people. And I did call my friend last night and tell him. And he wanted to buy more. And he's in it at a really great price. And I said, I don't think you should. 
it's not the right time to buy and it's not going to do anything significant that would make you want to buy it. And it hasn't. Yes, it's rallying, but so is the market. And actually, it gapped down. It gapped down and flipped today and it's rallying. There was nothing to short in this gap. It was a down gap. But you couldn't buy this either, even though it's rallying. This will probably close today with a topping tail and a body, bottoming tail of some configuration in the body. I really called this right. I, I didn't see anything of the significance this would do. I, I felt if it would gap down, it would hold. And I felt if it would gap up, it wouldn't be good enough to buy. I was really right on this call as well. There was nothing to do with the gap. Oh. We gotta look at what we have for tomorrow. I'm kind of getting excited here about how good I'm calling these things. All right, eBay. Uh, eBay gapped up. I didn't rate the bullish gap. This isn't right at all here, and I wouldn't buy this today, and it's basically a piece of crap. I did not rate the gap. It wasn't the watches. I would have rated this or had time to do it or do anything with this if I had nothing else to do on the downside, but I did. Problem with this is this looks like a piece of crap. The market has been power trending all day, and this is red. People love to fade these things. Really, eBay in the bigger picture is strong. So I even if this goes red today and falls to 58, completely against the market, it doesn't hurt this chart in any way. But I didn't aggressively tell anyone to do anything with this today. And I really didn't even end up going back to rate the gap. So I'm not sure how it would have, would have rated. Someone will try to buy this in the 5 or 15 minutes today. It's not going to work. It didn't reverse swoosh. So you could actually buy it, but the gap doesn't look ideal. And even looking at the market, and eBay is a market stock, this should not be doing this. This should absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt, not look like this. And it looks like a piece of crap. So I wouldn't do anything with it. TXN was very tough. What did I say about this this morning? It's going to work, but it's going to be tough. It's going to be so hard to do this. And actually, it... It was hard. It was hard because the rally was almost too much, but n not really. Mm. This this would have taken some mojo. I mean, you would have had to have like a thousand percent conviction to short this here after this kind of situation and the market against you. But it worked. It worked. It's working. It went. It moved a dollar. I don't know if I would have done that. If I had nothing else to do, maybe. But I don't even know if I would have. Uh, Eric here is nothing. Uh, AA is a snail, but had a nice move in it. And you could do this right in here right now. Uh, uh, no, don't do this. You got the market against you today. I wouldn't, I wouldn't short anything new. It's 1013. Just don't do anything at all. If you do what I did, you're done. And that's what you should do every day is exactly what I do. Uh, this didn't work at all. Set up, failed, flipped. Set up again, failed, flipped. Mm, piece of crap. And you can't buy this here either. And I never even rated it. SKX. Look at GM. Again, why? This was a bullish gap. I did not rate this. You could have gone long this. A little bit spready in here. Again, I like to do the shorts, but you didn't uh, lose if you bought this. This was a good long. I just didn't call it or rate it or anything because I had plenty of shorts to look at today, and I prefer the downside. You can scroll up in the room and look at GM and all the numbers I put. I don't know why I put some of those targets there, though. I was like in a dreamy fantasy world when I put some of those targets. Like they were never going to get there. Today, I don't know what I was thinking, but I, I know what I was thinking. I was thinking the market wouldn't power trend off the open, but it did. Uh, here, I'll go plop everything. Here, I'll recopy it. So I chose this gap because it rated well and met the criteria. There's something else I was going to say. What was the one that Tom was watching? Tom, did your one work? I didn't like it. I didn't want to talk you out of it, but what was the, where was the one you liked, Tom? I didn't like it, and I didn't want to talk you out of it. WBC, let me look. All right, did you do this, Tom, or did you do my call?
TXN, you did Jaguar Pawn. It worked. So you're, you were up in it. Okay. I don't know what the deal. You know what? If we all had problems getting filled in GM, then there was something wrong with it. I mean, I, I don't know. I'll ask my broker. But if we all got, if everybody in here had trouble getting filled in that, that's, 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 that's unusual. Tom, I hope you didn't do this. I hope you did the GM. You want me to look at this again? You're actually thinking you're going to take it again? Or what are you thinking? No. There's no way you're taking this again. That was the target I told you. And I gave it to you. I said 36.80. That's it. That's the target. You should be out of this. Doesn't break the low. I don't like it anymore today. But we got it, so why worry? You have to have conviction to trade. If you don't have conviction to trade, what would you do with yourself on a day like today? Do you have any idea how many bearish gaps were today? And actually, some of them rated well but they didn't set up. So if you are so stuck on your bias that you can't see the live price action, you will make a mistake and lose money unnecessarily. So you have to rate the gap, but then it has to open and actually move and set up correctly with the numbers, not just the one minute chart, the numbers have to be intact. Everything has to be there. It's not just like whatever. You don't just short every rally. Like it has to work according to the numbers. Why do you think that I'm so focused on the price? Anyways, if it does, then you do it. But if you rated it and it rated well, and then it opens and it, the numbers aren't validated or it never sets up, you got to lay off of it immediately, which is exactly what I did with the hub, okay? So, you know, you really, it's, it, but then when you take it, if the numbers are right and it sets up and you're in it, which I was in this thing, you hold the conviction. And what gives you the conviction? The gap rating and the numbers making sense. So why not do it? It's opportunity staring you in the face and you have to take it whether the market's rallying like a crazy person or falling off the planet. You have to do it. But it is another very, look at this Facebook. It's another very unusual day here because, let me look at the BMW. It's another unusual day because of the fact that I thought we just have, I thought stuff would be dumped in our laps today. It didn't play out that way. I almost was like, well, it doesn't matter which one I do. Well, it did. It mattered a lot. I think it was all of us, though, Jaguar Paw. Trader Gal's very happy. It was a 3R move. LVS was great. General Motors, too. Thanks, Melissa. You're welcome. Galahad was filled okay. All right, let's 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 go over the stuff for tonight. I'll tell you what, something, this is just on the fly here. I was up last night at 1.30 in the morning, and then I got up at 5 a.m. to go to the gym and do a spin class. And I just traded this thing perfectly. That is amazing. <laughs> I, mean, I, was, I don't. I don't even know how I just did that, actually. But I'm just telling you now. I, I didn't want to tell you that I had like four hours of sleep and then have nobody take my call. But I, I literally had less than four, four, four hours of sleep. One thirty, two thirty, two thirty, three thirty, three thirty to four thirty. Four thirty to five a.m. I had three and a half hours of sleep. <laughs> I had three and a half hours of sleep. And I took General Motors with double the size at 931 and held it. And it's 1020. And if I go back to bed now, my whole day screwed up. And I have things to do, so I can't. So I'm just going to go to bed early tonight. But sometimes adrenaline in this town, the adrenaline of New York, it just keeps you going. You just don't even have to sleep. That's why they call it the city that never sleeps. You just go, go, go. You just see adrenaline. Go. All right. Let's look at what's up for tonight. <laughs> ah. 
Let's just see if there's anything I like. All right, trader gal, she's out of here. Take your money and run today in the shorts. Amazon's tonight. All right, hold on. Let me just make a list. Oh, Joan had a question. Joan, what was your question again? E trades out tonight. Let me write these down. Joan, ask me your question in the room, please, from this morning, and I'm making the little list for tonight. Or I shouldn't say little. It's big. <gasps> Look at GM just broke again. Well, I, I, that would be ridiculous to do that there. But here, it's at the next target. 75, 70. I'm not in it. I'm not in it, and I don't want to be in it anymore. But I thought that 80 was it. It's, it's, just, it's still going here. I would have had no patience to stay with it at this point, though. <laughs> and I'm very happy with the money I'm up. Uh, let me just look here. Uh, Google's out tonight. Microsoft is out tonight. Starbucks is out tonight. They're a sign. All right, let's look at everything. Hold on. Yes, go New York City. All right. First of all, does anyone have any questions about GM? I'm all out of it. It actually just did go to the next target. I think everyone is all out of it, and I really think it's the right thing to do for like a one billion reasons. Uh, Joan, what was your question? Let me just go by scroll up. What's the advantage of selling the stock instead of buying the stock? Well, it depends if you're shorting it or if you're going long it. You, like, you wouldn't make any money if you bought General Motors today. So the advantage of this as a day trader, I'm a day trader, I day trade, I'm shorting this, okay? If you're an active trader, you can short or go long, okay? So it wouldn't be advantageous to buy this today. You'd be losing money. You'd be down. So some stocks, it's advantageous to buy. Some talk, stocks, it's advantageous to sell. Many people don't understand how shorts work, but it's really not that complex. Now, what people don't understand is how to short or what to short, okay? The, the idea of shorting is actually very easy to understand, at least I think, but, it's, but what most people fail is where they don't know what to short short the wrong things or don't know how to short. Like sometimes, Tom used to say this all the time, he doesn't understand how I'm shorting into the wind. We actually basically shorted in the wind yesterday. We shorted Cree in the wind. <laughs> it worked, but you know, I think a lot of people just don't know how to short. But the concept of shorting itself, I think is very easy to understand. If you bought this today, you wouldn't be up any money. And actually, let me just look at this since you brought it up. Oh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy this in any universe right now. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it for forever, but I'm saying I, this is, I would not be buying this right now. All right, let's look at Google. And anything else anybody wants me to look at, then I'll let everybody go. PSLA. 
New Jersey trader, I hope you're not thinking about actually doing another trade today. If you did LVS and you did GM on my call and you were here yesterday to get the Cree, it's like, really? Why? Why? Just take your money and go to the gym. There's nothing here. This is nothing. You should be pretty done much. You should be done pretty much. Very much. Yeah, market's pulling back, but it's really... Market's pulling back. Is that what helped this break down to the next number? Yeah. I just think this was lower. We, that's why I did it. I just didn't have the patience anymore to stomach it through a later period when I saw the market. And the market, I'm telling you, even if the market doesn't make a new high today, it's going to. Even if it doesn't do it today, it's going to do it tomorrow, it'll do it Monday. It's like right there. It's like basically there. It's going to do it. It's like there's no chance of failure. The market will make a new high, no chance of failure, whether it happens today or tomorrow or Monday. It doesn't even matter. We can get up tomorrow morning, the market could be gapping up and make the new high in the gap. I mean, you do realize that. And and how that would play out and happen, and I'm not saying that does, but I'm saying I wouldn't be surprised price at all because what would happen is all the people that are have all the heavy shorts in here in this area over 211 and 212 and 213 all the heavy shorts like if that would happen and I'm not saying it does set up that way even though I'm saying that we make a new high we could even do the new high in a bullish gap because of the fact that there's heavy short positions in here that are going to have to get out and run for the hills and cover and also buying, which is going to come into the market, which I see ahead of time because I'm very good at reading price. So, like, we could actually do it in a gap. Like, we could get up Monday morning and the SPY could be a 213.50. Like, or something crazy like that, even more so. Like, because it could happen like that, literally. Or it could happen on the live day. All right, I'll look at that in a minute. Let's look at the Google for tonight and just see if there's anything here that makes any sense. I think this gap's up tonight. I think this has had its fill of itself here. And I think this actually gaps up tonight. That's my call on Google. I have no idea where. But I have a feeling it works. Am I going to day trade that, though? No. It's not going to happen. <laughs> so let's look at Starbucks. Hmm. Well, all right. This is a watch. I think this could gap down. Hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. That's definitely a top pick for me. Microsoft. Boy, there's a lot of big names out tonight. Like, every name in the world is out tonight for some reason. What's up with that? Microsoft. I would I would do this if it gaps down. I would read it. I would do it. Boy, tomorrow's going to be a weird day. I have a feeling this gaps up. I, 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 if it gaps down, I'll read it. If it gaps up, I'll read it. This could go either way. I, my call on Microsoft, I have a feeling it gaps up. It could go either way here. That's how I'm calling it for the prediction. But I have a feeling that it gaps up. Although, if it gaps down, I will read it. see anything here. I like this to gap up. All right, so those are the calls. Let's write them down. 
Microsoft is a big watch. It's going to do something. I don't know what. I have a feeling it gaps up. But it is going to do something significant. Microsoft will be in play tonight. Starbucks, I have a feeling, gaps down. It could gap up, but my instinct is down. I'll rate it either way. Starbucks makes a move. Google, I think, finally gets going again in a nice current uptrend in the gap. I don't know where it'll gap. What else did I look at? E-Trade, I don't see anything there that's going to happen. And Amazon, my call is for this to gap up. Amazon could gap up tonight to all-time highs, actually. Actually, actually this is... Actually, Amazon, I, I think this could gap up to all-time highs tonight. 425. There. My call is that Amazon gaps, gaps up tonight to 425. All right. What was the one you want me to look at? What's the ticker symbol, Great Gatsby? SNE. I need the ticker symbol. Give me the ticker symbol for Great Gatsby. SNE, I don't play these things. It's a waste of time. It's hardly moving. I wouldn't buy it. You can't short it. It's a snail. Cat. It's nothing to do with this here. It's not doing anything at all. It's red. I wouldn't short this. There's nothing to do with this today. This, there's no read on this gap at all. There's nothing to do with this. It's not just, you can't just look at something and say, oh, that's green, I should buy it. Or, oh, that's red, I could short it. No, that's not how you make money trading. How, how, do you, how the heck do you think that we could do something like this today, as, as accurate as this? How, how the heck do you think that I can tell you the exact number to put something for the stop and the exact number to take it to the short, and then we do it? How, how do you think that, like, how do you think that that's possible, that I could be that exact before it even has any type of look to it at all, before it's red or even green at all in the day? Because I'm reading the price and I'm reading the numbers. And that's how you make money in the market. You can't just buy everything that's green. And you can't short everything that's long. You won't make money that way consistently. You have to know what it's going to do. And when it sets up, then you take it. And you got to know what numbers you're looking for. How do you think that I'm doing it? Why? How do you think that I'm doing this? Like, yes, I'm very smart. But I have taught people to do it. And there's only one way that I could teach people how to do it, to do exactly what I do. It's because it's, it's the numbers. It's based on price reaction, reading price action in the live, live time, and also in the gap. And it's the combination of that. And speaking of which, whatever happened in this sucker? <sighs> yeah, it's just not right here. It's just, it's not... Ready? This just doesn't want to do anything right here, right now. Uh, DD. What's your question? I didn't get a chance to read your email. I just got done telling you I had three and a half hours of sleep. What's your question? What do you want to do with this? Keep an eye on it? <laughs> Great Gatsby. You're like, keep an eye on it. Watch it for me closely. Sleep with it under your pillow. Wait. <laughs> All right, I'll keep my eye on it. <laughs> All right, everybody. I hope you had a good day. You should. I wouldn't know why you wouldn't have. <laughs> so, uh, I'll see everyone back tomorrow. Looks like we're going to have a good day again tomorrow. Prepare to have a good day from now until the end of time. It's earning season. There's a million things to do. And even when we had 100 things today and none of them worked except for the one we did, we had a good day. So, And I had three and a half hours of sleep, so <laughs> I think I could trade with my eyes closed, though. Wee. <laughs>
All right, have a good day. Christine, I saw you emailed me. I just didn't have time to write back. I'll write you back this, this afternoon. And if anyone is interested in the Golden Gap class, it's this weekend. Deadline to sign up is tomorrow, tomorrow, Friday, 5 o'clock Eastern time. If you want to do the Golden Gap class and learn and be in the room, the class is this weekend. Email me if you want to sign up. I look forward to tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. You're welcome. And you as well. Thanks, everybody.